to save for a rainy day. Doesn't this face sound familiar to you? Growing up, I believe your parents or guardians would have encouraged you to put your leftover pocket money into a piggy bank so you can learn the importance of saving and to also save up to make a bigger purchase in the future. And as we grow older, the concept of saving is still equally as important but on a much larger scale due to the more spending power and responsibilities we hold. Thus, in today's video, I'll be sharing three basic saving tips that may seem small but over time it can help you to save a lot in the long run. Tip number one, planning meals on a budget. Are you aware of how much you spend on food on a monthly basis? Based on a study done by Chingstat in 2017, an average household in Singapore consisting of three people tends to spend around $1,100 slowly on food per month. And taking into consideration the annual inflation, in addition to the recent GST hike, this amount should have increased by a few hundreds this year with the monthly median income per working adult being about $5,000, that's about 22% spent on food, assuming it's a single income household. And this includes groceries and dining out at restaurants. While treating yourself by eating out every once in a while is fine, many tend to overdo it and overspend by eating out way too often or ordering takeout via food delivery apps. By the satisfaction from eating at a good restaurant or the convenience of ordering food delivery, you may want to ask yourself if it's really necessary to be spending so much money on food. You can otherwise cook yourself at home for way cheaper. Even though you may have to set aside more time to prepare and cook meals at home, it can not only help you save money for other things but also promote healthier eating. Tip number two, cancel any unnecessary subscriptions. At some point, I'm sure you have at least subscribed to any one or more of the following streaming platforms from Netflix to Disney Plus to HBO Max and many others, right? And such platforms usually charge a monthly subscription fee of about $15 to $20. For well, this may not seem like a lot at first glance, but as the Chinese phrase goes, 积少成多 which means a little adds up to a lot. Thus, such subscriptions, especially when you are subscribed to a multi-platforms at one go, can help to a lot and may be a bit wasteful as you won't be able to utilize everything you have subscribed to. This is not to say that you cannot set aside money for entertainment, but do try to limit yourself to just one streaming platform by cutting now on any unnecessary spending on platforms you rarely use, you'll be able to save what seems to be small amount of monies and witness the stable growth in your savings. Tip number three, bao tai needs not once. Is there really a need to follow the latest trends and get the newest items? It's easy to get carried away with our desire, but distinguishing between needs and wants can be a game changer. For example, whenever the latest iPhone model release, you will see people queuing for hours just to get their hands on the latest phone. But do you really need to keep up with every new release? Sure, the newer model may have better features and a sleek new design. But that doesn't mean you need to change your phone every year. Most phones can last for 5 years or even more. So putting that money for other use and only spending for when you actually need a new phone may be more practicable. When we prioritize needs, we are focusing on the essentials such as the roof over our heads, the food on our tables and our health. These are the building blocks of our financial stability. By ensuring these necessities are met first, we can establish a strong foundation for our financial well-being. Once our needs are addressed, we can indulge in our wants and they are the extras and luxuries that add spice to life. This isn't about deploying but making intentional choices that align with our financial goal while prioritizing our needs, it guides us in the right directions. It is a powerful tool for saving money, building security, and achieving our financial aspirations. 
as we navigate our financial journeys. Dash remember to have a plan. Stop any unnecessary expenses. Prioritize your needs. Cultivate financial resilience and watch our savings grow. Here's to making intentional choices and building a brighter financial future for ourselves and our loved ones.